Cats. This is a special Monday midweek edition of Waxing Cats, episode number 246.5. Very special guests in the studio today. Time, the electronic duo from Florida, is in the studio. We'll be playing live in the second half of the show. Until then, I'm your host, DJ Logic. Play a few records for you. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
debriefing.
for This is the fate of the collective As victims of the holy and religious unelected Displaced the truth
play one more song after this, and then our special guest, Time, will be performing live in the studio on Wax and Cats number 246.5. Thank you. 
Got uh, Gray Siff and Samsung. Those are the hosts of the show. Wait, say what? Samsung? Samsung, Tucker McWeinstein. Wow. <laughs> and we've also got two foster kitties, so one of which just got kitties, adopted. One of which just got adopted. One of which just got adopted. So that's very exciting. I need your microphone. You do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you just do like live? Live. 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 Live.
You just like talk over stuff. Yeah. Okay. 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 So this, this next, next song, song is called Stringent Love of Material Nature. And uh, if any of y'all have a dictionary, you can look up that word stringent for me. Forget what it means. The cats are really gonna hate me after this one. But uh, yeah, we'll jump right into it. Here we go. You guys are on tour right now. We're on tour. For two more months almost. We're one month in. And uh, totally love the life. We had a great show at Joy Gallery yesterday, run by a really sweet person named Heather. We had the best time, so shout out to Joy, Joy Gallery. Gallery. Yeah. Yeah, if you get a chance to go there. Uh, who was on the bill with you last night? Uh, Roy? Roy Shade and Virgin. I know her name. 
1916, yeah. Virgin 1916. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it was a really good night, actually. And uh, we were playing with Roy actually a year and a half ago when we came to, so it was nice to have a little reunion. Nice. Yeah, that's the best part of it. Our- Heck yeah. 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 Heck yeah. So uh, it's been quite an eventful tour so far, I'd say. I heard you had uh, a bit of a run in. Yeah, well, we've had a few. Um, let's see, where to start? Well, we were dodging packing bombs in Austin, Texas. Uh, yeah. That was the first uh, psychedelic encounter. And, um, you know, it was funny. We were staying with friends there, and it was like, where is Batman? It was one of those situations where you're like, oh my god, this is like a scenario. Batman and Robin. This city right, this city right now needs some, a Batman and a Spider-Man. Yeah, to come so out too. most recently, uh, after a few other debacles, uh, debacles? How do you say that word? Catastrophes. Catastrophes. <laughs> um, after a few others, you know, we had a backpack stolen out of our vehicle yesterday. Laptop, iPad, camera, extra camera lens. Yeah, you know, I made it really easy for them. I put all my valuables in one bag and just put it there. Sayonara. Since we got here, we were warned, so we were like, oh my god, let's make sure we have all this stuff with us. We'll load everything in, we'll never leave every, anything out. Yeah, we were and then so in five minutes, and Michael left his backpack in the car. Car lock. Five minutes. Car lock. Broad daylight. I think Houdini is like running some theft ring in this town, because I don't know how the heck he got into our car, didn't even break a window. My goodness. So, yeah, but honestly, I guess like the only thing I would ask is, where's love? Seriously. Well, I understand we're, all, uh, we're all in the same boat. We all have the same ability to feel and empathize and just think about it, I guess. I understand you have a little Go, GoFundMe going? Yeah, we have a GoFundMe. Just, uh, my I just gosh. posted the link. So our song's all broken. Like, they stole our songs for crying out loud. Like, I hope they listen to them at least and like they get some spiritual potency out of it or feel some yeah, love yeah. or something. The laptop is like the brain for our uh, live set. So, uh, so now we're running with broken songs. Yeah, so. we had a backup. Fortunately, had a hard drive with a backup installed on a mod of a computer, and it's sort of running, sort of. But um, part of the mix, it might be a little rough today because yeah. we're just winging it. But also, so. thank you so much to those that have already helped us and given us money towards getting the computer. For real. I mean, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like, it was a real shock going through this experience and just knowing that so many people care about us and love us and uh, giving what they can to help yeah, us. Yeah, just in the past day, so many people have come through, so. And if you are just listening, you can go to gofundme.com slash help our gear was stolen with dashes between each of those words, help dash our dash gear dash was dash stolen. What does that sound like? Donate to them there. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> Should we do some more music? Let's do more music, awesome. because why we're here. Um, do you want to do an uh, oldie? We're going to do an oldie. Our own oldie. So hey, this one is appropriate, you know, actually. It's been my motto for so many things. It's called Let Go. And uh, you know, when life throws you curveball, sometimes you got nothing else to do. But just come to terms with it, let go. So without further ado, Oh, 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 
that was from your first release that yeah, you did? Our first and only release. Uh -huh. Yeah, virtually so far, um, this label, Illumini, has put it out. You might be uh, familiar with them. They were based in Cocoa Beach, uh, primarily released Vaporwave, um, which is not exactly our genre, but Cocoa Beach is the perfect place to, you know, release Vaporwave from, I think, you know? Vaporwave Town there. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored by Ron Johnson. Uh, Very nice. I, I linked to your uh, album there on Bandcamp. Oh, cool. Nice. What do we got in store next for you? Well, hey, you want to do more new material? Okay. Sure. We're going to do a newer song. Um, okay. We're going to do an older song. So, um, I want to mention, you know, We've got these uh, crazy helmets. You might have seen us wearing these things at the beginning of the set. And you might have said, are they crazy? Yeah. Is that thing on their head? That's so no one's dream where you can interfere with us. You can wear it on your head, see? You put it on, and this is what it looks like. You can see yourself. You can see the camera. So, uh, uh-oh, battery change. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so these are uh, the mirror vision. It was created by a dear friend of ours, Dave Rosen. And uh, we saw this stuff like, oh my god, this is so good. Can we take it on tour? So we did. We did a whole tour with these things. And then we come back and like, we really want a mirror stage now. So he designed us an awesome stage, which we obviously don't have now. We have this amazing backdrop of like vinyl. This is the most vinyl I've ever seen outside of uh, uh, record store. But anyway, we have a mirror stage that we set up, so if you're along our tour route, we'll probably be setting it up. And um, I love this, it's my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah we have our own little like world that we set up on stage. <laughs> All right, Thank I'm back in action. Thanks, Thanks, Jay. I know you're watching. Yeah. Okay. I'm watching you too, Jay. <laughs> so uh, let's do time. I am. This next track, this is based on a verse from an amazing book called the Bhagavad Gita. And in this book, Krishna, he's telling Arjuna, time I am, destroyer of the world. I have come to destroy all people. What's up? So that's what this song is about. Let's get right into it.
Brad, Brad's right here. Area. Yeah. Wow. And some cats, but they're not cameras. They're, they're kind of scared. They're watching, watching the dancing from a safe pl yeah, place. Yeah, right. <laughs> so well, what? Uh, you're in San Francisco, I mean, Oakland today. Where are you off to next? What Santa are the next? Cruz. Santa Cruz tomorrow. Because I grew up on an island with ocean, so I'm really obsessed with the ocean. Yeah, nice. Great, and then we're headed to Nevada City. Nevada, Nevada City. City. Nice. Santa Cruz, yeah. then Nevada City. Yep, and then all the way up to Bay, Oregon. No, Davis. Davis. Davis right. Yeah, Davis is even before Nevada City. Oh, yeah. Nice. She booked the tour. She knows the tour. That's me. <laughs> Heck yeah. All day long. Check, check, check. All right, we are wireless. And now, now we get to break out, out the key tone. So. My life, yo. You're not ready? Are you ready now? <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. My life, your love. Oh. No! This is great. We got great bloopers. Your songs are broken. Understandable technical errors with the situation, the gear situation. Okay, okay. Really, for real now, take 10. Stop it. I'm going to fall over, but I don't care. I like your love. I like your love. I like your love. I like your love.
Actually, the day after our stuff was done, I was in shock. Like, my brain was like, oh my god, we have to cancel tour. Like, my life sucks. I was thinking of all the bad things that had ever happened to me, and I was like, my life is really bad. But then I sang the prayer, and then my mind cleared, my heart was calm, and, and I realized, like, even if we have to sing along to our band camp, you know, <laughs> like, we'll do it. We'll just keep going, no matter what. So, this is, uh, yeah, that is the prayer. That we love. This is actually the first song that I that I um, composed. The prayer. I didn't write the prayer, but I put music to it. Very dear. Ready? Check one, two.
for coming out and playing on our podcast. Thank you so much for having us. This is great. I love your set, by the way. Cheers. I Thank grew you. up in, um, in the UK, so the drum bass was like a staple of my senior year. That's so awesome. So like, wow, I was transported back <laughs> to the club with my friends. Nice. So remind uh, everybody again what uh, the next couple shows you have coming up. Santa Cruz at Blue Lagoon. Where, where is that? Or, uh, Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. Tomorrow. And then... On the 12th, it's Davis, and then the 13th is Nevada City. Nevada City. <laughs> then we have a day off, then we go up to Coos Bay, uh, Cottage Grove, which is where it's sort of Eugene, Portland. We have two shows in Portland. I'm really excited. I'm so excited about that. Actually, yeah, we're doing like a dance, um, a dance night with um, uh, the the person who does the Bizarre Times podcast, which plays like really amazing music, if you um, ever get to tune into that. Like. And again, you can check out their band camp, timeiam.bandcamp.com. Final tune from Time from Gainesville, Florida. All right. All right.
246.5. Thanks for tuning in. Back again on Saturday.